amazing. All right, team, so just getting started. I have a lot of jumping today, so if you're new, I will always offer modifications, and that's just all I'm gonna say about that. Let's not think about it too much when you're ready. Get it started, jumping jacks. Just right off the bat, if you're at home on Zoom, and I'm going through any moves, and for whatever reason, even the modifications aren't sitting with you well, just feel free to go up to your screen and pop your hand up. I can see you all, so I can come over and kind of help you hit those adjustments one-on-one. -on -one. Good. So just nice and gentle in through that nose, out through that mouth, warming up the body. First little bit of movement probably for most of us today. Here's our five, four, three, two. We take it high knees up and over that waistband. Always an option to jump it or excuse me, walk it, the opposite of the jump, sitting up into that nose, out through that mouth, that breath, and really paying attention, one, to the core, zipping nice and tight, but also the flexion in the ankles, starting to really get warm to those feet. So just being conscious about how we're dropping on the floor, just so we're getting our awareness into our body. Good. Here's our five, four, here's three, two, butt kickers, heels in, two, glutes. Best you can, make that heel booty connection so you're really firing up through those quads again. Your modification takes you in that step touch. Here we go for 10. Check that breath. Let's pick it up just a little bit more. Here's eight, seven, six. Here's your five, four, three, two, one. Finger juice behind those ears, gentle bend in those knees. Hips go back and stand it on up. Keeping that spine nice and long. Feeling that belly button pull into the spine as you send those hips back. Using that breath. Beautiful. We're here for four. Keep pulling that heart forward. Three. And two. Stand it up. Feet are right underneath those hips. Let's just get a couple of standard squats in before we add anything fancy. Inhale. Exhale. Stand it up. With these squats, really think of leading through the hips. So we're not diving heart first. We always want to pull down through those hips. Beautiful. Squeezing the butt. Checking those checkpoints first thing. Knees are in line with those toes. Feet are parallel like they're on a pair of skis. Here's our three. Adding a calf raise in two. So we take that squat. Squeeze it up through our calf raise. Squat. Up through our calf raise. Again, just take note of those ankles. Really keeping them nice and strong. Keeping the power in the space front part of that foot, making sure we're not rocking to the inside or outside. Good, here's your four, here's your three, here's your two, step those feet a little bit wider, turning out at the hips, so we have that nice open stance, sumo squat low and hold. Holding at the bottom, squeezing the glutes, feeling those knees open, so we're not collapsing in. Good, fingertips behind those ears, let's say crunch, center, crunch, Center, firing up those obliques. We're not here long. Here's your three. Here's your two. Here's your one. Stand it up. Feet go a little bit wider. They turn back to parallel. Sit it down and stand it up. We're in those side lunges. In through that nose. Beautiful. Out through that mouth. Sending that butt just as far back as we did in our squat. Keeping that chest up just a little bit. Remember, we never want to stare at the floor. We always want to drop the hips. Here's your four. Take it three, and two, and one. Making your way to the top of the mat. If you have one, if not, no worries. We're gonna tuck that chin in, and we're just gonna walk out into an inchworm. If you feel like hitting a push-up, go for it, but then walk it on back. So you're gonna make your way through these inchworms at your own pace. I just want you to focus on using that breath, on keeping the hips, so, so still, squeezing the glutes, feeling that spine elongate. Next time you're down at the bit, bottom of this movement, let's go ahead and hang out. So shoulders over elbows over wrists. Beautiful, just setting up this plank. We visit this position a couple times. So really lift through the back of the head so we're not tucking the chin. Good, from here we're just gonna take 10 seconds of mountain climbers. Running it up center, keeping our weight forward, using that breath. Keep checking in to make sure you've got that form down. We're here for five, four, three, two. Right foot steps outside of that right hand. Getting nice and deep into the hip flexor. Right hand reaches to the sky. Feel that chest expand. 
and then drop your right hand, step that right foot back, left foot comes up, same thing. Reach that left hand up. Because of the jumps we're taking today, I want you to take a couple more on each side, going as slow or as quick as you'd like. If one hip feels a little tighter than the other, maybe stay and breathe into it if you need. You can always drop that back knee. Good, we're moving out of this in five. Moving on in four, in three, in two. Let's go ahead, hands are still right under those shoulders. We take plank, plank jacks. Find a little papa cardio down here in that plank. Good morning, feel it warm up. Five, four, here's your three, two. Walk hands back to the feet. Bend in those knees, little rag doll up top, shake out head, shake out neck, shake out spine. And then keeping that bend, we roll it up the spine one vertebra at a time. And oh my goodness, let's talk about what we're doing today. All right, team, so our first three exercises in our first circuit, we are starting right off a little bit lighter, thinking of it almost as an extension from our warm up. Feet are right underneath those hips, hands are right by our face. We squat, jab, squat. Woo, good morning, jab. Jabbing right across that body, squeezing those glutes and making sure as we jab, then we're not arching that lower back. So really find a nice, long spine. Once you have it, you can start to add a little bit of speed. From there, speaking of speed, this is our first big jump of the day. We're taking in and out tuck jumps. So you go center, side, center, open. So once you have it, we get explosive. If this is just not happening for you, I get it. Take high knees. Wide, narrow, wide, narrow. So you're still working the crunch, but without ever having to leave the ground. Your final push in our first round. Ooh wee, hello Metcon. So just like our warm up, we're gonna take a break or a plank jack, and then we're gonna take it into a break dancer. So if we hands are right below those shoulders, we plank jack, then we take opposite knee through to opposite elbow, tap that foot, come back, plank jack, Break dancer. If you need to modify, plank jack, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Further modification, step out, step in. Maybe take knee to elbow. Maybe just work on that plank jack. However you need to regress to keep moving through this safely, I'm all about it. This is your first of three rounds, so start a little lighter. Team, amazing, we're warm. Starting with our squat jab across in 10 seconds. Feet are right underneath those hips. Bringing those palms up to our head, making sure those feet are parallel with one another. We sit in three, two, inhale, lower, exhale, jab across. So taking it a little bit slower at first, right? We're just getting into the body. This is round one of three. So use this to really check that alignment. We never feel this in the knees or our lower back because of how tight we're squeezing through the butt and through the tushy. Yes, humorous, that looks beautiful. Inhale lower, exhale up. If you notice your knees have a tendency to collapse in, really use the outside of those glutes, squeeze hard. Here we go, team, 25 seconds. Making sure at the top that you're squeezing that butt and that core, so as you twist, you feel those obliques, that transverse, fire up. Check in, notice if your feet have started turning apart or started getting too wide, and just gently walk them back under those hips. Here's your 10. Enjoy this, we're right in the tuck jumps. In five, leading with the hips, four, three, two. Guys, one and done, amazing. So now we're in those in and out tuck jumps. Super intense move if you need to slow it down. High knees, wide and narrow. In three, two, and one, here we go. Please take whichever variation you need. If you're going for those marches, really think just like our warm up of those knees or to do that core pulling nice and tight. If you're on those tuck jumps, either make them explosive or maybe land it, land it. So you're working on that landing position. So good, Zoomers, beautiful. Really get those knees up and over that waistband. Feel that core crunch, gorgeous. And whatever we're doing, let's use that breath. So good. If you need to take variations, I get it. A minute of tough jumps is a little aggressive, especially first thing. So good. Yeah, you love that. Yes, Kirby. Again, notice those ankles. We want to keep them strong. 
So if you're landing with kind of a twist, slow it down. Find that range of motion. Here's your four, three, two, and one. Beautiful team. Moving into plank jack to break dancer. So setting up in a nice high plank. Yes, round one on a Monday. We take our plank jack, take that opposite hand, opposite foot, bring it center. Three, two, one. Plank jack, opposite hand, opposite foot. Remember, if you need to modify, you can take knee to elbow and take the break dancer out. Making sure as you move through this, that your shoulders are staying in line with those wrists. What I mean is when you take that hand to foot, notice if you have a tendency to shift your weight back, adding a slope between your shoulder and your wrist and bring it forward. So you're not putting any unnecessary pressure in that wrist. Yes. Good morning, good morning to all of us. Take whatever variation you need, maybe. Holding that plank right now is where you're feeling rocked. That's amazing too. Here's your eight. Here's your five, tummy tight. Four, three, two. Oh my gosh, high five, high five, stand it up. Team, that is round one of two. We're gonna do all of this two more times. We're gonna be so grateful for these squats after all that. Feet are right underneath those hips. We sit in three, two, Inhale lower, exhale up. Remember, we lead through the hips. What I care about first and foremost, speed is fun, weight is great. But if you don't have that form, you're building imbalanced muscles. So first and foremost, find that form. Round one, we really locked in that squat. Let's talk about this jab. As you jab across, I want you super active. As you pull that elbow back, like you're jabbing the wall behind you. So good. Inhale, exhale. Notice if you're staring at the ground in that squat, keep the heart up just a little bit higher. So good, Zoomers. Beautiful. Lead with that booty. Making our way into those high knees or tuck jumps in 13 seconds. Stay with me. Feet are parallel. Yes, you can get those hands right by that face. Beautiful. Here's your four, three, two, and one amazing work. We're back, everyone's favorite. Either tucking it out or keeping those super high knee drives, little hinge in the hips. In four, three, two, belly button pulls in nice and tight, let's hit it. Again, if you're working on that landing, land, explode, land. That's a good way to build up those muscles here and that stability. Or beautiful, just like that. Nice, steady knee drivers. Yes, Purvi, yes, Mickey. So, so good. 30 seconds right here. Using that breath. Again, if you need to switch back and forth, me too. I love it. Here we go. Good, Purvi, I love that. Stay, stay, stay. Here's your 15 seconds using that breath to the end, check in. Here's 10. Here we go for five, four, three, two, shake it on out, beautiful work. This first round is tough, you guys are killing it. We take it in two, plank jack to break dancer. Maybe you take knee to elbow and take the hand out of it, the three, Two, one, let's go. If you want a little more, you can always add a couple plank jacks if you want a little more of that cardio. So good team. Remember your modifications, you can always step touch and just focus on building, building that core strength. <clears throat> Hoo wee, thank goodness for coffee. Here's that 30 seconds. Again, this is a great time to check in. Where is your shoulder in relationship to your wrist at all points? We always wanna be over that wrist. Modify by holding that plank, catch your breath. Maybe drop those knees if you're working on training that core. Here's our 10, 
Yes, you can. Don't you pull back. You've made it this far. You've got your five, four, three, two. Oh my gosh, you guys, stand it on up. Congratulations. We are at the end of this first round. One more time in each of these moves. Let's really enjoy ourselves. Feet are parallel, hands are up, squat to cross body punch. Three, two. How tight can you get that booty? If you're starting to feel it in that lower back, chances are you're offloading in that lower back. So really squeeze that core. Using this to maybe catch your breath, you have really definitive moments. You can inhale as you drop, exhale as you jab. Inhale, exhale. Sometimes, especially in our first round of Metcon, our body really responds to giving it motion to attach that breath. Because we can really lose it here. Metcon gets that heart rate up. We want to be gasping for air, which is why we use these little landmarks to catch back up with our breath. Here we go, team. 14 seconds, yes you can. Even if you're just working on form and not going for speed, that's amazing, stay with me right here. You have five, one more, four, three, two, amazing. Guys, I'm so sorry, this is our last round of tuck jumps, I know we're really gonna miss them. Do them whenever you want, you know the drill, they're body weight. All right team, either stepping or tucking. Final push in three, two, one, Try something that challenges you. Maybe that's speed. Maybe that's trying that jump. Yeah, Nikki, yeah, I love that. It doesn't mean you have to stay with it. Just explore that territory. We're never married to this movement. It doesn't hurt to explore sometimes. So good. Maybe you take those wides out and you're just going straight tuck jumps. For some of us, those wides can be really hard on pelvic floor and hip girdles. So get that power jump. Keep it center. So good. This is beautiful. Yes, beautiful zooms. I love this. Check that breath. We push. 15 seconds. Yes, you can. We go. Three. We're here for 10. Push. Whatever you got. And then we're out of this. We leave it behind. Five, four, three, two. Ooh-wee! Shake it off, high five yourself. You're all amazing. One minute of work and then hot dog. You get that sweet, sweet recovery. Let's set up those plank jacks to break dancers in three, two, one. Shoulder over wrist, let's hit it. Whatever you can give me, let it be a challenge. This is your burnout round. And my goodness gracious, you're not burnt out by the end of this circuit. Woo-wee! Well, I'm hiring for teachers. It sounds like you're an alien and I love it. So good, stay with me. Remember, you have modifications available to you. You can take the jump out. You can go knee to elbow. You can work on holding that plank or you can take it to the ground. You have 25 seconds right here, that is it. Not only are you done with this plank jack break dancer, but you are done with your first circuit. Let's make that decision to push and set that tone for the rest of our workout. Yes, 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 Zoomers. Stay, stay, stay. Here's your eight. We push for four, three, two. Holy smokes. Amazing work. Okay, team, we're gonna break it down for round two. For those of you at home, go ahead, keep step touching, something to keep you active. Maybe grab a little water, but keep that heart rate up. We have two more to go and we're so excited. All right, how are we doing? Surviving, thriving, love it, okay. We are moving into a sumo jump to heel tap. So just like our warm up, we're bringing those feet nice and wide, then we turn out at the ankle. So as we drop, we really feel the inside of those thighs fire up. If you don't wanna leave the ground, squat, calf raise, squat, Calf raise, if you're not even comfortable in the calf raise because of ankle things or whatever, just go ahead and give me sumo squats for speed. If you want to take that next level up, we're sumo squatting to heel tap. This gets pretty darn intense. If you are taking the jump, I say this all the time and I'm never gonna stop. Whenever you land a jump, 
we land in bent knees. So do not come down compact on that joint. Give yourself a little cushion for that landing. All right, team, then we are going in two. I promised we'd be in, pipe, or in plank a lot, so here's another one. We find that nice high plank, shoulder over elbow over wrist. We send those hips back. Belly button pulls in so we're not dumping in that lower spine. As we shift forward, we bring our knee outside our elbow. Tap it back. Hips outside that elbow. Making sure you're not dropping through those hips. Keep that tummy tight. Your modification, if you want to leave the knee driver out, just work on those pike to plank. And finally, oh great, we are taking a Heisman to a transverse lunge. So at first, might be a little bit like this, but I'll break it down. Our Heisman is when we go one, two, three. So we land on one foot, it's a three count step. Then our transverse lunge, we're turning all the way to the side, dropping our lunge, coming back up. One, two, three, now our other leg is up. Drop it all the way to the side, rotate back up to center. Now we're on the other side of that leg, so we can travel side to side. Again, give it a try, if it's just too much, Go ahead and alternate those transverse lunges, take out the Heismans, and just do your own thing. Y'all, are you ready to keep going? We are flying through this day. Okay, so we are starting in 10 in our sumo to heel tap jump, or sumo stands for speed. In three, two, feet go wide, one, making sure you're turning out from the hip, squat it low, tap those heels, or Squat it low, up to that cap raise, or squat it low, go for drop squats. <sighs> Beautiful. If you're going for that hip tap, remember, as you land, we want to land in that bend. We don't come down and then land. We land in that bend, so we're not putting any pressure onto those knees. <sighs> and we're always using the glutes. That's going to help us keep from dumping center. All right, team. <sighs> 25 seconds, maybe take a modification. Maybe we can jump back together. If you're hitting that squat, remember, chest is high. Try not to drop it towards the floor. 15. So good. We're here for 10. Yes, you can. We push into that nose and out to that mouth. Five, feet are turned out. Four, three, two, one. Rock it out. Amazing first push, everyone. All right, so we are making our way into a high plank where we're gonna find our pike to cross, or excuse me, to outside knee driver. So find that high plank in three, two, hips go up, knee drives to the outside of the elbow, back hips up, elbow, hips are up. So the key here is that you're really pulling that belly button nice and tight into that spine. <sighs> Inhale, pike, exhale, knee driver. If you need to slow it down, Take that pike reset. Knee to elbow, reset. Hips up, reset. Knee to elbow, reset. Further modification. Maybe just work that down dog. Or again, maybe just work on finding that plank today, wherever you are. Incredible, we're all at our own pace. Especially as you start to pick up speed. I want you to make sure you're not feeling in that lower back. Remember the most common reason for that is because you're dropping your hips a little bit. So keep thinking of lifting through those glutes, through that tummy. Here's five, four, here's your three, two, amazing. Okay, this is where we get a little bit of a tongue twister. We're going into Heisman. One side up, we drop one, two, three. Whatever foot is up, we step out to the side, face the wall, take that lunge, back to center, one, two, three. Rotate out in three, two, one, one, two, three. Transverse lunge means we take a quarter turn, both feet in one direction, zip it up, core is tight. So good. There is a balance element of this. When you're up from that lunge, use those adductors, use that core. Go as slow as you need to find that stabilization. Inhale, exhale. So these Heismans are really going for lateral distance. How far to the side can you travel? In three steps. So good. 15 seconds, I love this. Core is tight, beautiful on that zoom. Here's your eight. 
Here's your five. Here's your four, three, two, and one. Amazing, amazing work. Just like that. We are back where it started. You guys are killing this. Nothing easy about today, and here you are, showing up. Feet are wide and hip width distance. Turning out at the hips, we drop that sumo in three, two, sit low, click heels. Or sit low to calf raise, or just going for those air squats. But again, notice that those knees collapse. Squeeze that butt together, yes. Beautiful work, you two, so, so strong. I love that. Whoo, weights, stunning. Inhaling and exhaling. Check with that breath, right? So strong. If you want to catch your breath, but don't want to make or still want to keep it challenging, you can always hold in a pulse. Here we go, team. We're here for 18 seconds. Stay with it. Zoom so strong. Whatever your variation looks like, keep that form golden. Here's your 10. Whew, yes, you can. To the end. You made it this far. We push for five, four. Here's three, two, one. Amazing. Find that high plank. We are back with our down dog, knee to elbow driver. All right, team. Living that good life. Find that plank. Three, two. Hips go up. Squeeze that tummy. Knee to elbow. Are you breathing? We love it so much when we do. So good. Check with that plank. We always end with shoulders above wrists, hands facing forward. So be conscious if you're someone who rotates your hands in or out. We want nice parallel hands. That helps protect through our wrists and our shoulders. Once you have this, maybe you take a little speed. Remember on that pipe, try not to arch in that lower back. Pull that belly button in tight. We're here for 15 seconds. Using that press. Here's your 10. Stay, stay, stay. You're almost out of this. We push for five. Hip. How many can you fit? Four. Three. Two. Stand it on up. Amazing work. Holy smokes, you guys. Four more exercises in this circuit, starting with that Heisman in five. We take it all the way across. Turn out to that lunge in three, two, let's hit it. Transverse lunge, that means we take that quarter turn, both feet forward, nine degree angles in both those legs. Use that trunk to zip it back up for that balance. Breathing, breathing, breathing. When we power out of that lunge, we use that front heel. Never that back. That's where we start torquing those knees. So good. If you're not loving the Heisman, stay center. Alternate those transverse lunges. Still go for that balance because I want you to work on that core strength. But you can always switch it up a little. In that nose, out that mouth. Here we go. 17 seconds. And we have one more round of round two. Woo wee! So strong. Use that tummy. Zip those knees up. We're here for four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Incredible, incredible work. All right, team. Feet go wide. Turn out at those hips. Sumo hops, drop squats, calf raises, whatever you've got. I want it here and now. We close it out in three, two, squat to heel tap if you've got it. Or squat to calf raise, squat, squat. I love the weights. That's the great thing about circuits is you can really make them your own. Inhale and exhale. Using that trunk again, remembering if we're here on our sumo, chances are that our hips aren't really dropping. So the more we can get those hips down, the more you're gonna activate through those money shots. 30 seconds. Into that nose, out of that mouth. So good. Maybe you take that break. We'll find this together at 10. So good, Mickey. Yes, Pervy. Loving this. Stay with me. Here's your 15 second mark. Everything you've got, you're out of this in 10. Here we go. Close it and leave it behind. 
five, four, here's three, two, one, done and dusted. Shake it on out. My friends, two minutes on the clock and we are into our final circuit of the day. You are amazing. Let's find those planks. In four, tummies are tight. In three, two, hips are up. Knee to elbow. Taking that knee outside the elbow. Crunch it deep. Working that oblique. All those stabilizers. Keeping that form as always perfect first. So everything can build on top. So strong team. Maybe you play around with that speed. Maybe you've just been doing those pipes. Now you're gonna try, just try going for that knee driver. So strong. Yes, you can team. We are out of this 20 seconds on the clock. One minute to follow. We're right at the end. You made it this far, stay with me for 13 seconds. Give me a little bit more, how can you intensify? Right here, right now, eight. Don't leave anything behind, five, four, three, two. Holy smokes. Amazing work, dust it off, you're all incredible. We have one more round of these Heismans to transverse lunges in three, two, let's take it for a ride. Using that core, find that stability. Maybe you wanna add a little jump now. So as you land that lunge, land the lunge, up to a jump. Just another way to intensify here in round three. Always optional, but I'm here to make you have the best day possible. Love that pervy lot, I'm making, here we go. Hip, into that nose, out that mouth. Here's your 30 second mark. Stay with me team. Remember after this, you are into that recovery. Let's ask ourselves, can I give a little more? Stay, stay, stay. Hip, here's your 15. Into that nose and out through that mouth. We stay for 11. We push for eight. We're here for five, four. Here's three, two, and one. Amazing work. High five, high five, high five. Hoo wee, okay team. Take those step touches, whatever you need to do. Maybe you're just standing up. That's great for me too. We are going to take it into our final round. Oh my gosh, time just flies when you're getting your tushy kicked. All right, we are focusing on that abdomen. We are going into alternating VFs. So we start full range of motion in that hollow body hold. We take opposite leg, opposite elbow, lower, opposite leg, opposite elbow, twisting through that trunk. Modification, feet start down, we're still up to the chest. Reach and lower, just give you a little bit of support through that lower abdomen. Final modification, keep the feet on the ground. I actually lied to you. If you need one more regression, go ahead and take bicycles so we're not bringing that chest all the way up. I'll go through those again when we hit it, but just so you have an idea of what it's breaking down to. Then, then, then. Oh, yay. We are taking wide push-ups. So if you have a mat about the width of a mat, if you don't have a mat, think about two feet in between your hands. You're going to hit a wide push-up, wide push-up into mountain climbers. Five or six mountain climbers, whatever you fancy. Drop that push-up. Your modification, take it to the knees for the push-up. Maybe step the climbers. Or maybe you just take the push-up and hold, and that's where you're working on building. Or if you're not feeling the push-up and just want cardio, just go straight mountain climbers. Get a little funky. Finally, team, we are ending in a low sachet to a twist jump. So staying low, we jump across, feet together, twist out, twist in, jump across, twist out, twist in. If you need to modify, don't leave the ground, right? So we take a low step, and then we're gonna take knee to elbow crunch. Low step, knee to elbow crunch. So we're working on that lateral movement into our cross body reach. We love this one right now, so I'm happy to bring it back. All right, team, final round of your day. We are starting in those alternating V-ups. Couple different options. If you don't wanna leave the ground, go ahead and hit bicycles. Otherwise, we start opposite hand, opposite foot. In three, two, and one. 
Inhale, lower, exhale up. If you don't want to hold that hollow body, keep a lift in that upper body, work the twist from here, or keep your feet on the ground, opposite hand, opposite foot, or final regression, find those knees up, take those bicycles. So all of our variations, we're twisting deep into that pelvic girdle. That means when we're up, we're trying to twist all the way over that thigh, right? Beautiful. Yes, Kinsey. Oh, I love it. Here we go, team. Try to float those shoulders the whole time. That's going to force the top of that six pack to stay lit up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, twist. Here we go for eight. Stay, 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 team. You're out of this in five. Final push right here. First round, three, two, and one. Beautiful. We are into those wide push-ups with mountain climbers, so don't even worry about coming up. We take our hands wide, we push up. Six mountain climbers, back to our push-up. In five, four, three, two. We're in that wide push-up, but remember, I still want those hearts directly between those thumbs, keeping shoulders in line with wrists as we run. Notice if you drop that chin on that push-up. Super normal, but let's try to break that habit. If you need to drop to those knees, find that plank, take the knees from there. So you're still mimicking the shape of that plank. So good team. Last little thing I'll say right now is I want you to make sure as you drop that those elbows are in line with those wrists. So don't let them bow out. Keep them right in line with that wrist. So good. Into that nose, out through that mouth. 15 seconds, yes you can. Find that happy place and stay there. We're out of this in 10. We push for eight, five, four, stay three, two, one. Amazing, just amazing. All right, team, we're taking low sachet, twist jump, low sachet, twist jump. Your modification step, knee driver, step, knee driver. So a couple different options. Three, two, one, let's go. On that twist jump, what I want you to think of is jumping, keeping your heart center, but your hips rotate. Beautiful team. Low to knee driver. Low to knee driver. So think of staying low the whole time. So good. Whatever variation we're taking, you guys look so strong. Beautiful work on those knee drivers. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Shoulders are back. Beautiful. Really notice if on either variation those shoulders start to creep up, just pull them down gently. Here we go. Stay, stay, stay. This is where we take it for 18 seconds. Whatever you're doing, maybe play around with a little more speed. Shoulders are back. Keep that chest nice and proud. Go make it yes, Kirby. Stay, stay, stay for four. Here's your three. Here's your two. Here's your one, amazing. Shake it out, we're back to those alternating V-ups. So going strict core on this one. Starting with those legs hovering on the ground or maybe from bicycle in three, two, one. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Take your time, really set up that you're twisting through that belly button. And then maybe, just maybe, as you move through, you can find that speed. But pro always, controlled speed. Or there's very little point in going fast. <sighs> Using that breath, inhale lower, exhale up, just like those squat jab across. This is another exercise that's a little bit easier to sink our breath to. Inhale lower, exhale crunch. <sighs> so good. Keeping those shoulders floating off the floor. 25 seconds. Stay, stay, stay. Yes, you can. Maybe you play with that speed. Maybe you take that twist a little bit deeper, really work that transverse. Here we go. We are here for 10. If you're staring forward when you're up, twist the heart to the wall. Twist over that leg. Four, three, two, incredible. Back to those wide push-up mountain climbers. Six mountain climbers, then a wide push-up hands right outside that heart. Setting it up in five, enjoying our time in four. Three, two, one, heart drops. Take one, two, 
three sets back into that push up. Thinking about beautiful push up form as we do. So good. If you need those knees, totally amazing. Remember, from that plank is where you find them. Now we're still mimicking that plank in the hips, firing up through the core. Use that nose and out through that mouth. Check in. Make sure your hands are parallel with one another. We're not turning in to make a diamond. We're not turning out. 20 seconds. Yes, you can. Dig deep. Here we go. Keep lifting through the back of the head. Notice if your chin is tucked on your chest. And just pretend there are strings on the back of your ears pulling you ever so gently up. Here we go, team. Here's your five. Here's your four. Here's your three, two, one. Amazing. Amazing. We are in two. Sashay to twist jump or low step knee driver, low step knee driver. Whatever we're taking, we go three, two, and one. Let's go. Is your mod staying low? Making sure that knee is in line with the ankle in the toe. So we're not turning out. And we're also not ducking our knee in or out. We want to make sure it always stays right under the hip. So good on that sashay. Sit those legs together on that twist. Stay low. So good. It's almost like a little ice skater. I say almost, but it is an ice skater. So good. Inhale and exhale. Less than 30 seconds to go. And just like that, we are at the end of our day. Stay, stay, stay. Here we go, 15. Hip, whatever you've got. Maybe we find a little more speed right here for 10. Hip, yes, zooms. Here we go. Four, three, one more, two, and one. Gorgeous. All right, y'all. Here we go. One last round of these V-ups. Really thinking of twisting all the way to that belt. We go in four. We go in three, two. Inhale, lower. Exhale, twisty, twisty. What I care most about is that we're twisting. That belly button starts forward, finishes over our leg. Good. Remember your modification if you'd like. Knees above hips. You're in that bicycle. So good. Stay, stay, stay. In through that nose, out through that mouth. We are almost out of this. Use that breath, use that form. Try not to drop your shoulders, keep that crunch. 20 seconds, here we go. All the way to the end, playing with that speed if it's available to you. Don't shy away. We're out of this in eight. So good, stay with me. You are in those single digits. Here's your finish. Four, three, two, and one. Stunning. We have push-up mountain climbers and those low jumps, and just like that, we are out of our circuits. All right, team, setting up for that wide push-up in four. Sorry, I just have to fix my hair. We go in three, two, here we go. Take that wide push up, run those three sets of climbers, and then back to that push up. Making sure that we're always staying in line. We're not dropping back. Keep shoulders in line with wrists. Using that breath all along. Thumbs pulling together energetically as you press that chest away from the ground. Just like before, really think of those shoulders staying back and that chest staying proud. We never want to collapse in on ourselves as we push up. 20 seconds. If you want a little chest burnout, go ahead and take push-ups to the end right here. If you want a cardio, take those mountain climbers to the end. Otherwise, stay as is. Here is your 10. Don't you quit. That's all I ask. You've made it this far. You are absolutely capable of this finish. You are amazing. Here's your four. Here's your three. Here's your two. Amazing. Truly so good, team. We are almost out of this. Let's go for one more round. I have those sachets to twist or those low jumps to cross body. 60 seconds and we're out. Three, two, let's hit it. 
Stay low. Stay explosive. You can be explosive without leaving that ground. Zip that leg up. Zip that leg up. Use those trunks. Use that core. So good. Everyone on Zoom, you look incredible right now. Everyone at home, I'm sure you also look incredible right now. Here we go. Stay with it. 35 seconds on the clock, and we're out of our circuits for the day. That means you dig deep, you push a little bit harder, and we grow together right here. Push for exhaustion. So good. You've earned it. You've been working all day. So, so strong. Yes. Stay right here. Here's 15 seconds. What does giving a little bit more look like for you? Maybe you've got speed. Maybe you just work without stopping. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. High fives across the board. I love it. Okay, team. Beautiful work. So that is our circuits. You're amazing. Grab a little water, grab your towel. If you're new to hit, nothing easy about that day. So thank you for crushing it. This is where we polish off our workout with just a little bit more ab work. So don't worry, we're out of our circuits. Each of these ab exercises lasts under a minute. So if you feel like you need to tap out for whatever reason, go for it. Just know that we'll be through it before you know. I'm gonna grab a little water and then we're gonna start in a side plank. All right, team. So a side plank can look different for any of us. I'm gonna offer up that forearm side plank, shoulder right over that elbow. If you need the assist, take that bottom leg and drop down to that knee. And that way you're still allowing yourself to build through that oblique, but without the pressure of your full body weight. So we're gonna go ahead and meet in that side plank in five, four, three, two, here we are together. This is a perfect place to stay. Or take that top hand, reach for the other side of the mat, bring it back up. Reach under, and up we go. Into that nose, and out through that mouth. Whew. Using that breath. Lift, 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 so good. Remember, that knee is there for you to stay lifted through that hip. Whew. We are gonna roll through our forearm plank in three, two, rolling through that forearm plank. Let's reset on the other side in three, Two, here we go, reach, extend. Option is to hold that side plank. Maybe take the knee down. Aiming for shoulder over shoulder over elbow. So good, keep lifting those hips. You have 10 more seconds and we are already out of our first little push. Here's your five, four, three, Two, and set it on down, beautiful. We're gonna take our bodies to our forearms. Knees are gonna pull into the chest, and then we're gonna extend our right leg, lift, pull it in. Left leg extends, lift, pull it in. Right, lift, pull it in. Left, lift, pull it in. We're gonna go both legs in three, in two, and one leg together, extend. Lift, drop it down. Extend, lift, drop it down. So good. We're gonna take that knee bend out and just go for lifts and lowers in three, in two, and when we lower, lift. Lower, lift. Keeping it in our core. If you need to come all the way down to the floor, go for it, but make sure you're not feeling this in that lower back. So good. We're here for five, holding four, three, two at the top. We open and close. Open and close, working inner thighs. If you feel it in that lower back, take it to the floor. Here's your 10. Here's your nine. Here's your eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let it go. Rolling it down to your back, so good. We're gonna zip those legs up, we're gonna drop them to the right. Fingertips behind those ears, keeping legs pinned. We're gonna crunch up and lower. Up 
and the lower, firing up those obliques. So try to keep that chest as parallel to the ceiling as you can. Sometimes keeping our hands up will help to guide us so that we're not twisting over the legs. We wanna stay straight on with the sky. So good. Doing the best to really pin the legs together. So good. Holding at the top in three, two extending arms, little pulses. Keep breathing. We hit that other side in three, two, and take a second reset. We're crunching to the left now in three, two, legs are down, crunch up, up. So strong again, maybe extend those hands. Think of reaching towards the ceiling. Keeping those legs as tightly together as you can. So good, inhale lower, exhale up. We're getting ready to hold at the top in five, in four, holding three, two arms out, crunch it out. So good. We're here for four, three, two, let it go. Final little bit. We take suitcases, lie it down, tap those ankles, lie it down, tap those ankles. If that's too much, heels are down. You're rolling up and down the spine. Couple different options, 30 seconds on the clock, and then we are done with our day. Keep those knees together. Feel that pelvic floor fire up. Inhale, lower, exhale, tap. Knees together, yes you can. Always an option to drop those heels. Here's your 10. Hoo-wee, this is it. You're here for eight. Keep going, yes you can. Here's your five, four, three, two. Let it go, amazing work. Walk those feet up. Maybe lift into a glute bridge. Just give yourself a little stretch through that abdomen. Lower it on down. Let's go for one more glute bridge, stretching to the front of that abdomen. And lower it down, so good. Keep the feet where they are and go ahead and bring those arms to a T or to cactus arms. And then take those legs to the right. This time we're just going for a twist. Shoulders are pinning. Head and eyes go to the left, so you've got that full rinse through the spine. Big old breath in, trying to nourish all the way down that spine. And then we bring it back through center, letting those legs drop to the left. Now our head and neck come to the right. Again, shoulder blades pinning, getting that gentle twist in that spine. So, so good. And bringing it back to center. Grabbing behind the knees, rocking and rolling. We did a lot of jumping, so I'm just gonna stretch you out around your legs a little bit. We're gonna take our feet together, or excuse me, our legs together, feet are up. Zip those thighs up and take a gentle bend in those knees for just to, just to begin. Inhale, take length in the spine. Exhale, keeping the bend in the knee. We draw our heart towards our toes. When we are as long as we can get, we reach for shin or foot. And then from there, inhale, find length in the spine once again. And now start to find length in the knees if that's available to you. You have to keep that gentle bend, keep that gentle bend. I like to rock side to side, get my sit bones out of the way. That helps me get a little bit deeper here. Always thinking of lifting with the heart towards the toes as opposed to the top of the head. And then when you're as deep as you can get, go ahead and gently just let the body collapse forward. Keeping those toes pointing up. Keep breathing length into the spine. Just letting that he head be easy and heavy. And then a nice deep inhale, fill that back. Exhale, walk it up. Just one more little stretch of these legs from all those jumps and steps. Bring the soles of the feet together. Again, thinking of that big, long inhale, finding length in the spine. Exhale, keeping that nice long spine. Leaning it forward. Again, maybe if you want to rock those sit bones out, I just ask that you don't flap your legs. Finding length with each breath, each exhale gets you a little bit closer to the floor. So good. 
Trying to keep those breaths as long and luxurious as you can. Again, remember you're nourishing all that tissue, all of our little nerve endings. And then roll it on up, zip those knees together. Bringing it into a tabletop position. We're just gonna take a couple cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart through the arms. Exhale, arching through the back, through the shoulders. Inhale, drops the belly, taking breath to movement. So whatever that looks like for you, if you want to invite some circles in, maybe shifting around the wrists, maybe flipping the wrist, whatever feels good to you. But if you do take something that favors one side, just make sure that you're doing it on both. We're here for five, for four, three, two, neutral tabletop, gently floating those knees, Hips go up, downward dog, take a little pedal, shoulders are down the back, maybe shake out the head and neck, wiggle the tail, walk those feet forward, big old bend, so you have a nice shelf in those thighs, let that chest rest, letting that head be as heavy as can be, chin towards chest, shake it on out, keeping the bend in the knees, squeezing the glutes, stacking one vertebra at a time, that is the last thing up, just take a couple opening closes through that chest, through that back, just a little dynamic movement here, a little active stretching. And then, oh my goodness, you guys, amazing work today. You showed up, you kicked butt. It's, what, it's not even eight o'clock. You're amazing. Thank you so much for showing up. Make sure you're drinking water and stretching because my goodness, it's gonna be better for you that way.